So I w would ask, you know, some kind of like early season expectations you have for this group. As I mentioned, you guys are off to a pretty good start already, 2-0 and right there with a sweep over Pampa and then a 3-1 and win right there over Canyon yesterday. So just kind of in those first two matches, I know, as we mentioned, you lost a lot of good seniors, a lot of great, you know, talent from last season. But in these first two matches, would you really, you know, anything surprise you from this team? Anything really stick out to you? Uh, well, we just have to use those games to, you know, kind of get into a groove and get some roles ironed out. And I, mean, I think our outsides and our, our actually our middles have kind of been a big surprise for us. They're doing a great job. And they were the keys to our win versus Canyon uh, last night. So uh, that was a really nice surprise for our middles to come in there and do so well. And any, you know, key returners from this year? I know we talked about those seniors, but any other key returners and key roles for you coming into this season? Yeah, you know, those those middles are what we were kind of talking about, J.C. or Dallas, who uh, played last year, but she's really stepped up this year and done a great job. Uh, Mackenzie Sims is our setter this year. Uh, she's going to be dual duty this year a little more. She's going to hit and then set. So uh, Ansley Tiffin is going to do the other part of setting. So she did a great job last night as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, now you're headed down to Dallas. Talked about that Mansfield Summit Tournament down there. A lot of local teams coming down there. Um, in, I mean, this non-district schedule just kind of looking here. I mean, it looks pretty tough. You got a lot of great, you know, games to play before you head into that district, especially a lot of, you know, you're playing up a lot of 4A, 5A teams there. So kind of what was just the thought behind, you know, that non-district schedule before heading into district and then potentially into the playoffs as well? Uh, we kind of set that first part of the season up where uh, we get tested a lot and, and have a lot of uh, great competition just so that we're ready for the playoffs because when we get there, you know, it's going to it's gonna have some uh, a little upper, more uh, advanced on the playoffs than, you know, maybe you'd see in other areas. So we want to make sure that we're ready to go for the state playoffs. And then um, last year, I mean, you guys made it back to the state tournament again. It didn't come out the way you guys wanted it, trying to go back to back to back there. But in this new, you know, kind of team, you lost a lot of talent. But do you see a lot of potential to get back to that point? Yeah, you know, at, at uh, Bushland, it's really great to be able to walk in the gym and everybody's uh, excited and, and ready to go. And the first goal is to win state. So, you know, that's, uh, that's something we always have in mind. And, uh, this year's team looks uh, forward to working towards that, and I think we have the tools. And then last question here kind of for you, Coach. I'll let you get back to riding down. How, how far are you um, – well, real quick, how far do you all have left to get to get to Dallas? Uh, we just barely got started. Yeah, we had to – we had team pictures today at media, mm -hmm. uh, had all those fun pictures that they took, you know. So if you want to find out what our new jerseys or whatever they got on social media, you can go find those things out there, so – it was pretty fun this morning. That's yeah. awesome. So last question here kind of for you, Coach. And then we talked a little bit about some volleyball. But something else I want to talk about, your daughter, Logan, she's going to play at WT but play golf. I mean, just how excited are you to finally see her play, you know, her, um, this fall? Yeah, it's going to be fun. And uh, I mean, we're really excited that she gets to go to play at WT. And Coach Meredith has been awesome. And they've uh, actually played in a tournament together. And, uh, you know, that was just kind of a surprise. Logan's, you know, wanted to play volleyball and, you know, just didn't have the right fit. And, and she was pretty good at golf. I don't know. She, she had to register as a scratch golfer the other day. So uh, uh, when Coach Meredith, she emailed Coach Meredith, Coach Meredith, this, or Coach Jamison, sorry. She uh, you know, called Logan and they visited about it. And, you know, we thought it was an awesome opportunity to get to go play at uh, WT. It's close to home. We can come, you know, she have a couple of tournaments close and, um, you know, that, that'll be fun. That's awesome. Well, Coach Culpepper, thank you so much for coming on and chatting with us today on the Sports Drive. I mean, good luck this season. I'm sure um, we'll be out to plenty of the Bushland Lady Falcons games. Um, and good luck and safe travels down to Dallas. Great. Thanks, Thanks for having us on. Y'all come out and see us all the time. Awesome. All right. We'll be right back on the Sports Drive.